this guy, uh, I don't know who this guy is. Honestly, I kind of kind of vaguely heard of him. I see everybody in America seems to have an opinion on him. Apparently, he is an a-hole. Uh, but he is the next ambassador to Japan. Uh, interesting to see the reactions. On the one hand, he seems to be quite influential. Uh, you know, he's, he's quite, you know, deep in the uh, Democratic establishment. There again, he was the mayor of Chicago and everyone hated him. Apparently, you know, o o Obama, like, gave him an important role as a punishment. I don't know how that works. Apparently, he's kind of effective, but he, he likes to tell people to their faces he doesn't like them. Um, uh, the, 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 the consensus seems to be he's not the sort of person you generally put as a diplomat and certainly not to a country like Japan. But there again, um, it does. Uh, it is setting someone who, at least if he's on your side, he's going to be a heavy hitter. Um, that said, he doesn't by any reports actually know anything about Japan. The reason I put this in here is that there is the old thing about um, the Republicans and Democrats and Japan. Uh, I am a complete outsider on this. I, I really, I mean, I have friends, American friends in Tokyo who are Republicans and they're lovely people. Um, by the way, I, I emphasize that the one, I don't actually know any real, well, I don't know well, I, I know of MAGA people, but I don't know any sort of real Trump Republicans. I know people who call themselves Republican, but can you know, consider, you know, traditional Republicans or whatever. Um, so I don't really care. I, I recognize that they're, they're capable of being good people who support either party. But that said, uh, you know, overwhelmingly expats in Japan, American expats in Japan are overwhelmingly Democrats. You know, when the, the, the Democratic Party has fundraisers, election promotion events I've been to before, and they're fun and everyone shows up. And honestly, yeah, it's overwhelmingly what Americans call liberal. You've borrowed that word wrong, but, you know, I'll, I'll, let, I'll let you have it for this context. So there's always this weird thing that the Democrat, so I'm just sitting here as an observer, a New Zealander who lives in Japan. However, there is this both perception in Japan, which I think is based upon observation of the actions of the US. And it always makes Americans really defensive when I say this, particularly ones who live in Japan. But um, I agree with the perception that the Japanese establishment has that the Republican Party is generally, well, with the recent exception, the, the recent one was definitely an exception, generally Republicans are more friendly or neutral towards Japan. Uh, Japan enjoys generally an easier, uh, more comfortable relationship with the US under Republicans, whereas Democrats are generally uh, more... Uh, willing to be antagonistic or challenging towards Japan. Now, I'm thinking, for example, Bill Clinton was talking about actually sanctions and punishment of Japan for, um, uh, you know, for the whaling thing for a long time. He was very strident about that. Um, Obama, you know, made a point of not having a, a formal state dinner with Abe, although he did with Xi Jinping right after he did. Um, you know, uh, he, he seemed very standoffish, partly what one would assume because the media was sort of saying that, you know, at the time, Abe, when he was a new prime minister, that he was going to be some sort of new Hitler, which he clearly wasn't. But again, people sort of seemed um, also remembering, of course, uh, how Japan's only democratic uh, party government, like in the whole post-war era, was basically destroyed by Hillary Clinton. Now, uh, over the Okinawa base issue, when, when, when the liberal uh, sort of Japan Democratic Party got power for a brief time, you know, in the early 2000s, and they wanted to see if they could improve the Okinawa base situation, and the prime minister promised to negotiate with the secretary of uh, state, you know, Hillary Clinton, uh, about the base issue, she destroyed him. He, he had to resign a few weeks later, and that whole government lost lost all of its credit. I mean, and, it, and granted, it was uh, Hatoyama, PM Hatoyama's fault. He, he Picking a fight with America over bases wasn't smart. But again, it was... Um, Oi, what's up? I, I lost my wife, lost my connection here. Hang on. I might have to reboot that. Technical issues... Anyway, um, let me, we'll have to do this, but, but in any case, um, and look, um, whenever you have the primaries, um, it's always the Democrats who are the least keen on international trade because they're worried about U.S. jobs, particularly manufact car manufacturing jobs and whatnot going over to, um, you know, Japan and uh, other countries and whatever, they're more defensive. Um, you know, Chicago, Detroit, places like that uh, obviously have always been um, a bit, uh, have I really lost this? They've always been more, 
uh, it, you don't want to appear too cozy with Japan when you've got an electorate of people who are, you know, b b when the base in the primary elections, the union members and the car makers and so on, are hostile towards Japan. You don't, you don't want to go and uh, appear too friendly to Japan. Uh, we're back. Boom, boom, boom. So I kind of get why, but at the same time, it just means that for whatever reason, um, you know, the Democrats always seem a little bit more willing to pick a fight with Japan. Uh, and, and Japan gets a little bit stressed out. So it is funny to me that they that the uh, that the Democrats are sending uh, this guy, who doesn't seem to know anything about the place, comes from Chicago, and apparently loves to get into a direct fight with people. I mean, that said, it is uh, credit to I suppose at the moment, you know, Biden's whole administration and Blinken seems to be going through a reset at the moment of uh, trying to. And Japan is an important ally, and with America, with Jap with China being becoming more assertive, particularly towards Taiwan and its territorial claims in Southeast China see and with Japan yeah it, it's definitely Japan is uh, now more than probably any time in the last you know 30 years or 40 years Japan is really a st important strategic ally to America right now probably you know the next conflict that seems to be drifting towards Japan is going to be a key player so you know rebuilding the um, the, the destruction and, and, and Trump to me was it was actually you know he, he was anti-free trade he was actually like almost i mean on paper a lot of his stuff was the same as bernie sanders particularly foreign uh you know particularly like defense <laughs> and um you know trade and so on from a japan perspective it would have had the same impact so in a way you know it's it, biden is in many ways closer to the traditional republicans than trump was uh like at least from a japan perspective and from that perspective is a good thing that there is a resetting and positive and friendliness and so on and that's good but that said i don't know that this is the guy that you'd send necessarily um if you want to have a a, a quiet happy reset so we'll see how it goes um hopefully he'll get some good advice but uh, interesting times. I don't know if other people have, um, you know, opinions about him. But it's funny. I've found uh, most people, including people who I know are like Democrats, like like really don't like this guy. <laughs> and they say he's like mayor of Chicago. I say, oh, so they like him in Chicago. And they're like, no, no one likes him in Chicago. He's hated in Chicago. But he was the mayor. But you know, I don't know. Maybe they like to vote for people that they don't like. But that seems to be what's happened with that. Uh, Quint Rankin, yeah, not sure Democrats are worried about U.S. jobs. You think uh, they love outsourcing? Ask anyone from Detroit. Well, well, this is it. They they sort of hit it. You know, Clinton and the sort of you know the the the, the centrist or the right wing Democrats sort of agreed with the left wing Republicans that they were just going to all agree on doing lots of trade. And right now they're de they're dealing with the backlash on that. Unfortunately, Japan catches some of that. Um, but um, but there's legitimate reasons if you've lost your job and you know there there are people campaigning who are protect gonna be nationalist and protect your jobs why not vote for them of course you're you're allowed to vote for that uh, so yeah yeah Quinn rank it I totally get that to why why <laughs> Quinn is a socialist I'm not sure that's true but yeah <laughs> Trump was extremely protectionist uh, you know. Uh, yeah, he. I mean, he was just a pure populist, um, and, and and I worry. I, I like populists like we had in Ukraine, like we have in Philippines, like we have in Turkey, um, and it freaks me out. I, I I worry. Just I remember like when we had George W. Bush, thinking I was most worried that we would one day look back on George W. Bush as a, as a quaint, uh, you know sort of sort of joke uh fun friendly time in comparison to now i thought it was you know and and, and now <laughs> i don't know I don't, I don't like where the lines are going uh, i've talked about idiocracy before but yes that's uh that's what i see uh but who knows